but I did, made tacos anyway because I had so much leftover meat. So I'm gonna take a little dip in that. So let's give this burrito a try. All right, let's just take a little dippage. The spices in this are insane. All right, you guys, let's jump right into this. Um, today, I am going to be making... Okay, this is gonna be all over the place, you guys. This video was intended for burritos, like I continuously say in the mukbang part, uh, but I decided to throw in some tacos. So I'm making a really quick, super simple corn tortilla recipe, which was basically this masa, water, and salt. And then I'm gonna combine all of that until it comes together. And you don't want this to be too wet or too dry. I feel like when it's too dry, then your tortilla cracks when you're trying to cook it and then um, I feel like it was too wet, it gets kind of messy. So you want it to be like pliable, kind of like cookie dough or like, um, I don't know, soft, like it's still pliable, but not really dry where there's like a whole bunch of crumbs, if that makes sense. So I just shape that until it comes together. I cover that with either damp paper towels or a damp kitchen towel just to keep it moist. I got this tortilla press. You don't need to have this. You could you could uh, use just plastic wrap and then smash it down with like a bowl or a plate or something like that. And then I just kind of like fill, like I get like a little, I didn't weigh any of these, those not super correct. Um, I just get like a little ball, maybe like a one or two, like two ounce ball, round it out and put it in the middle and just smash it down. And I have this tortilla press with a Ziploc bag um, so that I could easily take off the corn tortilla. I don't want it too thin or too thick. It's about like, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like right about there. I don't really like a thick corn tortilla. You want it about medium. And then um, I get a comal and I put like a little droplets. I put a couple little droplets of oil and then I put it on there. I feel like this works best for me. And then I'm just gonna cook it until it bubbles up and then I'm gonna flip it, cook it on the opposite side until it bubbles up and that's like 30 seconds a piece. I am going to be recooking these later for the tacos so um, I didn't want to cook them too much. They cook very quickly. And then I just finished that process until I got my tortillas. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna jump right into making some guacamole, you guys. Uh, like I said, this um, this video is definitely like was definitely all over the place. But I'm gonna make some quick guacamole. But this guacamole was actually really fire. Uh, it was super simple. I just did a jalapeno, garlic, a serrano, um, a little bit of lemon juice, and oh, and actually not a little bit. I put a lot of lemon juice, and then some squirts of tobacco. Tobacco. Mm, I just woke up guys <laughs> forgive me uh, and then I put some squirts of Tabasco salt and lemon pepper
Okay, so now I'm going to form my burritos and oh my gosh, y'all, these were so good. This is the perfect thing to do with your leftover um, birria. So I do some cheese, it was mozzarella, it was Oaxacan or mozzarella? No, it was mozzarella. So I did some mozzarella, your cheese, whatever cheese you have on hand, use that. You don't gotta get fancy with it. Um, I did that, I topped it with my meat, then guacamole, cilantro, onion, and then as you guys know, I'm gonna be using it to dip in the consomme, so I'm not putting that in there. My leftover broth you know my broth is very deep in color it's very deep in color and very flavorful it's not like a broth it's like super deep in color it's like it's more like a soup I like it though I like it that way um, anyway so what I'm gonna be doing for the tacos is I'm gonna dip it into that and then I eventually just kind of spread it out using a ladle so I wasn't making a mess dragging it all over the place and then I'm gonna cook it but you guys I did not cook this long enough they were good um, they just didn't have the texture I liked so I wanted to cook them a little longer a couple of them had like were crispy tacos a couple of them weren't um, so I should have cooked it a little longer but other than that the flavor was there everything was really good and I ate it with guacamole and I know that is a crime but it was so good like that uh, so basically what I do is I um, cook that, put the cheese, put the meat, and then close it up. And I do that for the rest of my tacos. And then I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the burritos. I'm gonna put it on the cast iron and then I'm gonna put a, a ladle or spoon some of the consomme on top. Anyway, that was pretty much it. If you guys are still here, leave me some burrito emojis. Um, and oh my gosh, like I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed during this process because I have this stuff running down my face and I could not feel it and I was looked into the viewfinder and tried to get a little close. I couldn't even see because I'm so far away from my viewfinder. I couldn't see myself and I had it just running down my the side of my face and I was like, when I watched it back, I was like, oh no, I did not feel that. Um, anywho, uh, but I'll see you guys in the mukbang court. I've got one thing. A towel. Anyway, I am back. Uh, not back. I mean, I am back from the recipe part. And you guys, this was such... I was like, I don't even know if I want to show this because this is not working how I want it to work. Um, the burrito, however, is absolutely working the way I want it to work. Like, look at that. That's actually beautiful. And that's the cheese hanging out. Um, 
but to me, the tacos were not turning out how I wanted them to, um, but we're gonna give them a try and then I will give them a little critique um, after I eat them. But let me grab a towel. Oh. Let me grab a towel. Let's, let's try this. I'm gonna try this taco, even though I didn't want this video to be about the tacos, I actually wanted to make burritos out of this, but I did made tacos anyway because I had so much leftover meat that I decided to uh, do tacos. So I am going to do that, and then you guys know that the consomme is right here. So I'm gonna take a little dip in that. Mm. I don't know why I was thinking that was gonna be, I don't know. I wasn't thinking it was gonna be anything. I, I think I was just not liking how I was filming it. It looked like a disaster while I was filming it. Um, I'm for certain I'm not going to be in focus, but I don't really care right now because um, I just don't care. These are actually really good. Mm. Listen, okay. I know I'm not supposed to eat it with guacamole, but I really, really like it with them. Okay, so let's give this burrito a try. This is what I really wanted to show you guys today is actually making burritos out of this stuff. So. <clears throat> the spices in this are insane. So, if you watch the recipe part, you guys know that I put guacamole in the burrito. Guys, come on. I know I'm not supposed to have it with guacamole, I know. It's so good in a burrito. It's just so good. Like, listen, you all need to try this. I know, cause yesterday I had filmed, um, I had filmed the, what did I film yesterday? I filmed the pizza and um, that was so good. Like, and I was telling you guys in that video, like I said, I don't know the order of these videos, but, um, when I filmed that yesterday, hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Um, here, let me eat another taco. Did I eat? These tacos were such a, they were such a, I can't even see. These were such a fail on camera. And they got all cold. Now look at them. <laughs> okay, that's not the best. Let's do this one. <laughs> all right, yeah, cause this one looks like it has a little bit more meat in it.
I really like it with the guac, I do. Maybe let me put a little lemon in it, on it. Let's see what it does. I don't know why I'm putting lemon on it. I really don't. Mm. Mm. You already know I'm getting full. Let me take a couple more bites of this. Burrito, burrito. That thing, stuff with me, a little guacamole, cheese. Unfortunately, said cheese melted and got cold. Y'all, I never get good cheese pulls. So many people on YouTube get these amazing cheese pulls and I'm just up here like, hmm. Mm. Okay. You guys know what I'm thinking. Exactly. You need to make it. My focus is weird as hell today. Oh, it's going down my chin. Oh. Uh uh. It's trying to take me out, y'all. I hate when that happens. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Let me stop. I'm going to take another bite. Just because. I be doing y'all dirty on the bites. Look at that. Take a take a bite of that. Today is Friday here in Arizona. <clears throat> I just wanna make this announcement. Today is Friday and they are officially opening up the stores out here today. And our stay at home orders end on the 15th. Um, I don't know, you guys, I'm at the beginning of this, it was panic, 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 fear, fear, fear. And now I'm going towards more of like, let's be smart. Anywho. <sighs> Just gotta be slow. Anywho, what I'm what I'm feeling about these tacos are is that they're good. The flavor's there, obviously, but the texture is not what I'd like it to be. And so I know the reason for that is like while I'm filming, I'm trying to make it look a certain way instead of just doing what I'm supposed to do. So I should have let them sit a lot long a lot longer um, to crisp up before I folded them and took them off. So it was basically me being <clears throat> It was basically me pulling an amateur move and taking them off before they were ready. Other than that, the flavor is there, obviously, and these burritos are fire. Like, if y'all make this and y'all have this left over and you do not know what to do with it, um, I highly recommend putting it in a burrito. Like, you can make tacos, yeah, but they'll be messy. If you do a burrito, it's way less messy and a lot quicker, and then put some guac on top of it. It'll be good. Anyway, how have y'all been, dude? I have missed y'all so much. Like I said, I don't know when, when this video is gonna come out, so I think in every video, I'm just gonna ask how y'all are doing. Oh, 
Smells good. Mmm. This is really, really good. I'm glad I pushed through because I was actually gonna call it quits after those tacos. But I was like, you know what? The video was not about the tacos. The video was about the burritos. And we came, we conquered the burritos and I want you guys to try it so bad. You don't even have to cook it with the consomme on it. I just thought I'd do that because I thought it would be cool and cute and it worked out, but still you don't have to do that because it is a bit of a mess, uh, but you can just toast up your burrito, have your consomme on the side and dip it as you go, just like you would do the tacos or whatever or what have you. Um, but I definitely recommend putting guacamole on it. I feel like it's perfect. And the guacamole I made was really limiting today. So it just, it's like that perfect amount of acidity, salty, savory, the spices. I went so, y'all, I went so hard on those spices. I don't even think I mentioned this in yesterday, when I filmed yesterday. I went so hard on those spices because I was like, the last time I did these, uh, they were good, but I wanted more like, like in your face spices. So I went heavy, heavy handed on the spices and I'm glad I did that. Um, but every, like I said, everybody has their personal preference. So add more of what you like, less of what you don't. Anyway, you guys, it has been a pleasure. I am a very appreciative if you guys are still here. And if you guys are still here, leave me some taco emojis. Um, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Is it me, Jesus? <laughs> Dude, I've been so obsessed with TikTok lately. It's actually kind of embarrassing. It's actually kind of embarrassing. My sleep schedule is way off, so I pretty much don't sleep at all, ever, you guys. So what I do is just sit on TikTok until I can fall asleep. Y'all, that should be having me dying. I'd be full on dying in the middle of the night, <laughs> trying to keep it down. But anyway, anyway, I will see you guys at the end of May. Ooh, I got the rot. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't.